Hello, and welcome to day one of NCS Fest 2021. My name is Jason Chatfield. I'm the president of the NCS, which stands for the National Cartoonist Society. And this weekend, we're bringing you a virtual version of what we usually do in person every year, which is our Rubens Conference and Awards Weekend. This year, we polled our members to see what they would like to do for their Rubens Weekend. And the three options were to have an in-person as regular Rubens, to have a partly virtual hybrid, partly in-person Rubens, or a fully virtual NCS Fest as we did last year. And congratulations to the National Cartoonist Society members on predicting the advent of the Delta variant way back in February. This year, we've decided to pair with the Lakes International Comic Arts Festival in bringing you three full days of comic art content between the UK and the US. Some of the sessions will be coming direct to you from the United States, some from the UK, some from both at the same time. We've really tried to do something interesting this year, and we really hope that you enjoy what we've put together. So what is the National Cartoonist Society? That's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. The National Cartoonist Society is the largest and most prestigious organization of professional cartoonists in the world. The primary purposes of the NCS are to advance the ideals and standards of professional cartooning in its many forms, to promote and foster a social, cultural and intellectual interchange among professional cartoonists of all types, to stimulate and encourage interest in and acceptance of the art of cartooning by aspiring cartoonists, students and the general public. Membership is limited to established professional cartoonists with a few exceptions of outstanding persons in affiliated fields. The NCS is not a guild or a union, although we have joined forces from time to time to fight for members' rights, and we regularly use our talents to help worthwhile causes. The seeds for what evolved into the National Cartoonist Society were planted during the volunteer chalk talks that a number of cartoonists did during World War II for the America Theatre Wing. The Society was born at a specially convened dinner right here in New York City in March of 1946 that saw Rube Goldberg elected as President, Russell Patterson as Vice President, C.D. Russell as Secretary and Milton Kniff as Treasurer. Ernie Bushmiller, Ray Van Buren, Frank Willard, Misha Richter, Joe Schuster and many more joined and within two weeks the Society had 32 members. By March of 1947, there were 112 members in the National Cartoonist Society, and growing. In 1949, the Society volunteered to help the Treasury Department in a drive to sell savings bonds by sending NCS members out on the road. A nationwide 17-city tour was undertaken by teams of 10 or 12 cartoonists. Through the Society, NCS members have continued to serve the nation in person and through their art. Teams of cartoonists have toured war zones and military installations around the world in cooperation with the USO. Others have entertained at VA hospitals. NCS members have also contributed to many US government programs. Their efforts have benefited NASA, USIA, the Treasury Department's Saving Bond Division, and the President's Council on Physical Fitness. Other beneficiaries have been the American Red Cross and the United Nations. The tradition of lending our talents to worthy causes continues to this day. In 2001, for example, NCS members in the syndicated community dedicated their newspaper strips and panels to a Thanksgiving initiative that raised over $50,000 for victims of the 9-11 attacks. And members contributed a further 18,000 through the proceeds of a private auction. In 2016, our members raised more than $100,000 over one weekend in support of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Five years on, the NCS Foundation is once again raising money to support the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital with our 75th anniversary auction in partnership with Heritage Auctions. Keep an eye out on this weekend's programming to see more about the selection of works in our very special original cartoon art auction. Today, the NCS membership roster includes over 500 of the world's major cartoonists working in many branches of the profession, including comic books, editorial cartoons, animation, web comics and online streaming platforms, newspaper comic strips and panels, gag cartoons, greeting cards, advertising illustration, magazine and book illustration, and much more. 
For the past 75 years, we've hosted an annual awards event where we come together to share our insights, connect with fellow professionals, and celebrate the best in our field. We call them the Rubin Awards, after our inaugural president, Rube Goldberg. If you haven't been to a Rubens yet and you're a cartoonist, I highly encourage you to do it. Even if you only ever do it once, it's absolutely worth it. And as you're about to find out, cartoonists are the coolest people in the world. Hopefully we can all get together again in person in 2022. This is one of my favorite places in all of New York. It's the Museum of Cartoon and Comic Art in New York City at the Society of Illustrators. Founded in 1901, the Society of Illustrators is the oldest non-profit organization dedicated to the art of illustration in America. The Society of Illustrators is located at 128 East 63rd Street in a graceful five-story townhouse on a quiet residential block on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Originally, it was a carriage house built in 1875 for William P. Reed. It's near many of New York's famed cultural institutions like Central Park and the glittering shops of Madison Avenue. In August of 1939, the Society purchased the building for approximately $33,000, which is nearly $500,000 in today's dollars. In 1951, renovations to the third floor were complete, creating a lounge for the membership and a library in what is now the famous bar. The bar. <laughs> that amazing bar graced by Norman Rockwell's Dover coach was on the fourth floor where the library is now. The street level gallery opened in the 1950s, then in the early 1960s, the lounge was reconfigured into the dining room and bar. Spearheaded by a campaign in 1981 by Society President John Witt to create the Museum of American Illustration at the Society of Illustrators, the lower level was converted into a second gallery. The galleries, open to the general public, greatly increased the space for year-round exhibitions and a bookstore in the lower gallery offering posters and publications by the Society and many others. Their permanent collection houses three and a half thousand pieces that are catalogued for scholarly use and displayed periodically. Then, in 2012, the Society created the Mocha Gallery, with a focus on curated exhibitions of comic and cartoon art. MOCA stands for the Museum of Comic and Cartoon Art. Today, the building hosts not only many society membership activities, as well as the famed National Cartoon Society holiday party, but also lectures, drawing opportunities for professionals and students, art competitions, publications and gifts, beautiful and informative exhibitions, and much, much more, all in the service of the art of illustration as set out in 1901 by the first members of the Society of Illustrators. Thank you so much to the Society for hosting us for NCS Fest this weekend. Thank you so much for your support in these last two very difficult years for the NCS. Thank you especially to our sponsors, without whom none of this would be possible. I'm going to stop talking. We have so much programming to get to. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you very much to our sponsors once again. And congratulations to all of our nominees of the 2020 Rubin Awards. Yes, the 2020 Rubin Awards. They're presented in 2021. It's a whole thing. Anyway, please enjoy our programming and let's kick it off.
Always ahead.